Hey there, folks. Uh, this is Shook, and I'm going to be playing Barn Runner, the Armageddon and Claire, Part One. Uh, I'm going to try to do this introduction pretty quickly because I kind of kind of think at doing these introductions quickly. So let's try. This is a point-and-click adventure game uh, made with the Adventure Game Studio program. It's a uh, it's a pretty nifty uh let's click inside. Yeah. Get the music going. It's uh the Adventure Game Studio, uh you can make pretty much point and click adventures. You do the artwork, you do programming, it takes a bit of programming knowledge to do anything too technical, but it's uh it's pretty cool. There's a there's a website and that People can upload their games like this. This is one of them. And some of them are very good. Um, this one I think is supposed to be pretty good. I've never played this before. I've played it in a little bit to make sure it would run okay. But, uh... Yeah, some of them are quite good and almost... You know, borderline commercial quality, you know. Uh, well, some of them probably are commercial quality. But some of these were done kind of as challenges for like to be for a game done in like two days, 48 hour challenge or something, 72 hour challenge, which is amazing, you know. <laughs> uh, so yeah, nothing against anything here. Uh, and I will, if I remember, and I will very likely remember, I'll put a link to where you can get this game. It's completely free. Uh, and I think there's about eight games in the series. Uh, now I don't remember for sure, but I think there's about eight games in this series. And I do hope that this it looks okay. I'm having to use a uh, a screen capture program. I normally use Fraps for my for several of my other games, and the Fraps don't work for this, so I'm having to use a it's an absolute uh, screen capture program, so having to play this in a window to be able to do it. Hopefully, the hopefully that will look okay. No guarantees though, but hopefully that won't affect the enjoyment. All right, well let's get this show on the road. Yes, let's view the opening movie. Thanks for giving me the option. Techie World Films. Probably present a SNS production. The Armageddon Eclair. Twenty one eighty one. It's a bit in the future. The big oops. What the history, history books call it, I suppose. Obviously. Very obviously. What's up, dude? <laughs> That's more realistic. Okay. So it's been <laughs> so it's been quite a lot more than a three day weekend, I suppose.
<laughs> the game definitely has some good humor in it. Of course. <laughs> you would think. You're the expert, what do you think? No idea. Every robot who has ever fled him. I don't. I'm not gonna do the voices in this. Well, for one thing, because I never know how long it'll it'll last. Feeling he's not the richest person in the world. <laughs> he looks a little dead inside. <laughs> you better hope it never gets there then. Alright. Yeah, I didn't really, couldn't ever think, couldn't really think of much to commentate about there. So I can cut stuff. It's been a while since I've played many of these games. Pretty much, I'm right clicking, and you can also go up to the uh, thing here. Got me a gun, got me a watch, got me a badge, got me a calculator, looks like. And let's check these things out. Vice Bat, the energy pistol. It's about the only handgun that's effective against robots. It's fully loaded. My wrist link, I'll use it to radio back to Chief when I have something to report. My badge, it helps me move to the front of the line it makes. <laughs> Seems like he treats his authority with very much, uh, professionalism. It's not the word I was trying to think of. Um, respect? He respects his authority. I've not watched much, uh, South Park, but I know that's a phrase from... RESPECT MY AUTHORITY! Something like that, right? Something like that? Need to watch more of it. I, I, I've enjoyed the few episodes I've watched. I can use this to read any discs I find along the way. All I have to do is look at the disc and I can read whatever's on it, yeah. Hmm. With this multi tool, I can make simple repairs without getting shocked. Spare energy clip for the spatula. I'm carrying one in case I need to reload. A clip is only good for three shots. Hmm. Alright, so... That's what the good detective is. Pickard, right? And you can also walk around. Yeah, uh, right-clicking. Did I say that? 
See, this is the perfect example of what's wrong with the city. Here you have a guy sitting at a crooked table. But rather than pick a table that isn't bent to one side, he just leans over until the table looks right to him. He never thinks anything about it. He just does it. The entire city is full of people like him. That's why no one really questions the clock problem anymore. It makes me worry about the future of this place. But of course, if these people actually did change for the better, then they would fix the clock and the week would be, would be over. I think I'd rather take my chances and leave things the way they are. So look, he's worse than anybody else. Where's the bus bot? He should have cleaned the ta that table by now. Lazy robots. A janitor bot. A butler bot. Refitted for custodian duties. Looks like he's waiting for something. Gee, I wonder what these are referenced to. Gee, I so wonder. Food Court 304. This is where most people on level 304 come to get a bite to eat. Stuff on a stick. What exactly is this stuff? You probably don't want to know. World of Byproducts. Cultists of some kind. I don't know what cult they belong to off the top of my head, but the city is full of wacko groups. They start spring. They started springing up about ten years back, just a few months after the clock seized up. I guess it's the price that you have to pay to get such a long weekend. So wait, <laughs> seems like it says about three years. It's been ten years. The men's room. Shudder. Rugrats. I can't believe I can't taste it. I can't believe I can't taste it. Refry things. Let's refry this thing. So, I don't want to talk to anyone who can't be bothered to sit up straight. No way, if I give them an opening, they'll talk to me all afternoon about whatever it is they believe at the moment. Nah, I don't want to get involved with someone with kids. I don't want to interrupt Oh, I didn't look at these guys, did I? Ah, a couple having lunch. Doesn't that just warm your heart? Can I do anything? Or is that take? Oh, I wish I could. I can just go around shooting people for no reason. Besides, I can only use a spatho on robots, not people. Okay, you have to... Now he hasn't done nothing wrong. Hmm. What does that do? I'd like to order a, uh, stuff on a stick. Oh, okay. That's to talk to the robots. Beep, pop, doo doo. What'd he say? <laughs> I love serving mankind. Hey, fellas. Sounds like uh, 3PO is talking like Data. Hi, oh, I'm terrible. Beep beep. I agree, my companion. I would simply fail to comprehend why any robot would rebel. Yeah, I, there is no way I'm going to be able to do a 3PO impression. Feels <laughs> like he has a uh, 
I wonder if they are ha just having a massive amount of sarcasm there. Whoa, crap. Oh, crap. That's not good. <laughs> Exterminate! Exterminate! Fecal matter. Exterminate! Grum! <laughs> Let's go ahead and save this. That's awesome. <laughs> I always thought that thing looked like a plunger anyway. <laughs> didn't didn't they like in one episode didn't he like didn't they plunger a face off or something? Like the first episode in the new uh new uh series. Space super sized that robot. Super plungered it too. A soap dispenser. A sparkling clean sink. <laughs> Oh man, I can't believe they have a Dalek there. That is, that is awesome. That's no excuse. Hey, what's up, Dalek? Hi. Good afternoon, sir. Yes, that is my function, sir. Please feel free to use my facilities. I assure you that all surfaces are germ-free and minty fresh. Because I exterminate field. Now look at it, I did, didn't I? Yeah, that sounds... I clicked that. Oh, that's, uh... It's like a prying thing or whatever, okay. I can't I can't talk to anybody. Hmm. I need to walk past him or do I, do I walk over here? Oh, <laughs> that's a little, uh, <laughs> uncomfortable. Just sitting here, taking the load off. How is life treating you, sir? Well, lousy, such as, uh, trying to drop one here and, uh, I can't talk to people while trying to drop one, so, uh, eh, shut your robot doll like mouth. <laughs> you better hope no malfunction happens there. Trusty buns. <laughs> Did 
Let me tell you about a story about a poor mountaineer barely kept his family fair. <laughs> That's easy listening music, I suppose. Very keen observation. Okay, I didn't remember if I had. Man, that Dalek made my day there. I can't go in the women's room? Why not? I thought that was an escalator at first. Okay, where to now? Maybe I need to uh, talk more with the Dalek. Okay, another reading break. Anything more to talk? But my gear. What's this crap again? And what was this again? Data link. That's right. Hey dude, I got a badge here. You want to see it? Let's go show my badge off to to the people in here. So they're gonna have a re reaction. Guess not. Hmm. Well, this, but this has been a bit over 20 minutes, let's, uh, yeah, I guess we can go ahead and call it quits here. Oh, you know what, maybe I can just walk this way. Yeah, maybe I can just walk down that way. Let's do that, because I might forget. That would make a lot of sense, now that I think about it. Okay, well... I can't move on yet. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, but remember, leave a link here to, uh, to where you can get the game. Uh, and as I said, there are a ton of games that people have done. Some of them are probably not that great, but some of them are very good. This one's been this one's been entertaining so far. I have to say, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, I played a few, uh, I'm paranoid, <laughs> you know, I've played a, maybe a handful of them, and, yeah, can't say this, you know, it, it, they've been that annoying, there, may, there was maybe one or two that might have been kind of annoying, most of them are good, worth, uh, worth playing for free. Anyway, I do hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully the video quality and all that is good. Good enough anyway. And uh, I shall return and we'll continue this game later. Farewell.